excited to see each and every one of you on this very beautiful Monday morning. Um, so friends, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Miss Rachel and I'm the children's librarian at the Wilkinsburg Public Library. I'm coming to you Facebook Live from my kitchen as we have been. Um, so I wanted to take this moment to first of all, thank everyone for your continued support um, and love um, and understanding as we try and navigate this difficult time. Um, as of right now, the library has made the very difficult decision to close for in-person services um, until the COVID-19 spike uh, goes down, until we see a significant decrease in cases. Um, whenever we talked about this, the only thing we wanted was to make sure um, that you guys were safe. So I won't be able to see you all um, in person for a little bit longer, um, but that doesn't mean that we're not connected or that we're not still seeing each other because I still feel very connected in this space. Um, so friends, we're gonna begin with our story time. We're gonna start by singing our hello song. So I would love it if you guys were to follow along at home. All right, ready? I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna clap my hands. Good work. Let's keep going. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna stomp my feet. I'm gonna clap my hands. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna nod my head. I'm gonna stomp my feet. I'm gonna clamp my hands. I am here and you are here and we are all together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna wave hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm gonna nod my head. I'm gonna stomp my feet. I'm gonna clap my hands. That was great. Friends, really good job doing that at home. Um, that is what I love to see. Um, Nice work. All right, friends, so we're gonna read our first book. Um, if you guys are story time regulars, you've definitely had me read this book to you before because I like it so much. This book is called Ernest, the Moose Who Doesn't Fit. And the author of this book, her name is Katherine Raymer. Ernest, the Moose Who Doesn't Fit. Well, that seems sad. Ernest is a rather large moose. He's a pretty big guy, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He is so large that he can't fit inside this book. Luckily, Ernest is also a very determined moose. He is not going to give up easily. Oh, that's right, he is. He's so big he can't fit in the book. Look at him. Oh my gosh, yeah. That would stink to be so big that you couldn't fit into your own book. He struggles to shimmy, shift, and shuffle in forward. All right, there he is. He's trying to get in. Looks like the little chipmunk is trying to direct him, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. He tries to squish, squadge, and squeeze in backward. That's pretty silly, isn't it? He's trying to back in. And then if you look down here, our little chipmunk's trying to help him pull him in. That chipmunk's a nice friend trying to help him out. Ernest's middle fits in easily, but what about the rest of him? Poor Ernest, we're missing his antlers and his feet and his tail. Oh man, I don't know. How do you guys think we're gonna solve this? 
do you think, how else do you think he can fit in? Let's see, I know some of you guys have read this book with me before. Ernest is very disappointed. This book is just too small for him. Poor Ernest. All he wants is to fit into his own book. Or is it? Ernest's little friend has a big idea. Oh man, a big idea. Who wants to guess what's going to happen next? Who wants to guess? These are good guesses, guys. These are really good guesses. She fetches some masking tape. Ooh, what are they going to do with masking tape? And Ernest collects some paper. See, he's got to get into the antlers. <laughs> Together, they carefully crinkle, crumple, and stick. They are busy for a very long time. Oh, wow, they are hard at work doing some crafting. What do you guys think they're making? Hmm, okay. These are some really good guesses. Let's see, let's see what they're making. Finally, they are finished. Ernest may be a rather large moose. Are you ready? <gasps> But now he has a rather large book. Are you ready? Something works. Whoa! And he fits in perfectly. Wow! Look at that. Oh my gosh, they made Ernest a new part of his book. And the squirrel and the chipmunk says, the end. Wow! That was such a good book, and I'm so glad they were able to find a way for Ernest to fit into his own book. That would be terrible if you couldn't fit into your own book. All right, friends. We are going to do our five green and speckled frog song, as we have done for uh, several months. Um, I like this song a lot because it teaches us a little bit of counting, which is always a very important thing for us to practice. Um, and it also gets us working on those fine motor skills, which are those small hand movements. Um, so the putting down of fingers um, is going to get us uh, working on moving our hands. Um, and we need those things for things like holding pencils and crayons. All right, friends, here's our five frogs. Let's give them a count, ready? One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we've got five frogs. I didn't lose any. That's good. All right, guys, let's see five. Can I see five at home? Good work. Five green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled dog eating some most delicious bugs. Yummy, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are how many? That's right, four. Four green speckled frogs. All right, friends, let's count to four. One, two, three, four. Good work counting, everyone. Let's see four. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled bug, eating some most delicious bugs. Yummy, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are how many? How many? That's right, three, three green speckled frogs. All right, friends, are we ready to count? Okay, one, two, three. Good work, everyone. Let's see three. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled bug, eating some most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, how many? That's right, two. Two green speckled frogs. Okay, guys, let's count. One, two. Good work. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled bug, eating some most delicious bugs. Yummy, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is how many? That's right, one. One green speckled frog. Okay, this is our hardest one yet. Are we ready to count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty
One. Good work. One green and speckled frog sitting on a speckled bug, eating some most delicious bugs. Yummy, yum. One jumped into the pool when it was nice and cool. Now there are how many? That's right, none. No green speckled frogs. Good work, everyone. Nicely done. Nice job singing at home, too. Um, I love knowing that you guys are enjoying yourselves and able to interact at home. So friends, we are gonna do uh, our very favorite song, which is our Zoom Zoom Rocket Ship song. This one is super fun. Um, and we are going to blast off very high. Um, I'm gonna stay seated in my chair, so just pretend like I am blasting off. Um, but we're gonna get those rocket ships warmed up. All right, let's get those rocket ships warmed up. Good job. All right, friends, here we go. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast Good work, nicely done, friends. Let's do that again. Get those rocket ships going. Get them going. Good job. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Really good work, everyone. Friends, we are going to do that one more time and I don't know, what do you think? Do you think we can touch the ceiling with this last one? I think we should definitely try. I really believe in us. I know we've been practicing our jumping at home, really getting our stretching going, and I think we can do it. Ready? Let's get those rocket ships going. Good job. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast <laughs> Good work, everyone. Good job blasting off. That was really good. And I'm so glad we were able to do that together. So friends, before we say our goodbyes, we're going to read one more story. I like this story a lot because I really love sweet, tasty treats, and I love dessert. Does anyone else out here like dessert? I do too. Let's see here, what is our little panda bear holding? What do those look like? That's right, they look like donuts. I love donuts. Let's get started with our story. This story is called Please, Mr. Panda, and the author of this book, his name is Steve Anthony. Ooh, look at all those donuts on the inside. Oh my gosh, so tasty. Would you like a donut? Give me the pink one. What did, uh, what did that penguin miss? Something very important that we need to say. What did the penguin miss? Let's keep reading and find out, but I think you guys know. No, you cannot have a donut. I changed my mind. Would you like a donut? I want the blue one and the yellow one. Hmm. What are we missing? What's missing at the end of that sentence? Yeah, I think you guys are right. No, you cannot have a donut. I changed my mind. Would you like a donut? No, go away. Okay, then. Fine. Ooh, he says to the whale, There's our, our bear is up in the boat. Would you like a donut? And the whale says, I want them all, then bring me some more. <gasps> Something's definitely missing at the end of that sentence. 
Mm -hmm. Is that a nice way to ask for something? Mm -mm. That was rude. No, you cannot have a donut. I changed my mind. Ooh, the panda asks us, would anyone else like a donut? Hmm. Would you like a donut? Oh, here's a lemur. He's like this. He says, hello, may I have a donut? Please, Mr. Panda. Was that what we're supposed to say when we ask for something? Mm-hmm. Good job. You can have them all. Thank you very much. I want donuts. Ooh, he's enjoying all his donuts. And look, they're stuck on his little tail. He's got the little donut hat on. You're welcome. I do not like donuts. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. And friends, what's that magic word that we're supposed to use whenever we would like something? Who can tell me? What is that magic word? That's right, please. And what should you say whenever uh, you get that thing and somebody gives you something nice? That's right, you should say thank you. You guys know what to do. All right, friends, I have enjoyed spending my morning with you. Um, I know those books were kind of short, um, but it is very hot outside today. I hope everyone stays safe. Um, and please let us know if there's anything that you need, any requests. Uh, we are still doing curbside pickup, so you can come get your books and materials. Um, and I will be uh, in the lobby of the building today giving out crafts. Um, so I will still be around, still giving things out. Um, we miss seeing you guys. Um, and I hope everyone stays safe um, and takes care of themselves. So, friends, we are going to sing our goodbyes. And I'm going to remember which goodbye song we always do for months and months and months on end. Um, this up song teaches us a little bit of sign language. So we're going to do the song together, review the signs, and then do it one more time. Sounds good? All right, let's wave our hands like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. So that was a really good job following along. And like I said, this song teaches us a little bit of sign language, which is a way of talking just using our hands. So friends, let's review those signs. This means, that's right, goodbye. This means, friends. This means, time. And then here's our hardest one. Are you ready for it? That's right, to say. All right, friends, so now that we reviewed those signs, let's do it one more time. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Excellent work, ladies and gentlemen, and friends of all ages. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. Um, and we will be back next week uh, for more songs and books. Goodbye, everyone.